Die große Überraschung ist tatsächlich geglückt. Mit 69 zu 65 gewinnen die Flippo Baskets ihr erstes Heimspiel der neuen Saison 2019-2020 gegen den Doublesieger der vergangenen Saison, gegen den Herner TC. Megan Mullings ist heute hier. Erneut zum Interview hat sie sich redlich verdient. War mit 14 Punkten, 6 Rebounds, 4 Steals und 4 Blocks am Ende ja, die tragende Kraft in ihrem Team heute. Megan, welcome first of all to your second post-game interview. Thank you. But of course you earned it really well today. Thank you so much. It was a win against a record defending champion of Herne. Yep. It was a game with uh, many up and, uh, ups and downs. How do you explain this win for you? Um, I mean, first of all, I think it was a great win. It's a low scoring game, which means that a lot of really good defense is being played. Um, but for us, I think it was a really good test to see like, okay, we've been here, you know, since the very beginning of August, you know, most teams don't get together until I think the end of August. So we've got 20 days extra preseason on everybody. You've got girls coming from their national teams. You've got, I came here from Australia. So everyone's been working so, so hard, making so much sacrifice in our team. And I think that this was one of those tests against the last year's champion to see like, okay, did it, have we actually been working hard enough? Like has what we've been doing been pre preparing us so that we can actually win really, really big games. And um, a four point win over last year's champion, like. You really can't ask for more than that, to be honest. Would you agree if I say the biggest problem in your game today were the missed layups? Uh, yes, I would agree, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, how do you explain this? You lost by far 10 or 12 points by missed layups. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, I think. We're all, like I said, we've all been working so, so hard. And when you play against the same team every single day for our team, you know, you get used to how people move, how people uh, drive, how they make layups, everything else. And so when you play against somebody else, and these girls, Herne was, Herna, Herna? Herna was really, really strong, you know. And so whereas we're used to kind of finishing around people, they were jamming us, pushing us, and everything like that. And I think mentally we had to decide, like, Am I going to be strong and am I going to finish through it, you know? And I think Kayla was a great example of that today. She had, she goes down for a wide open layup, misses one of them, and does the same exact thing again, then she makes it. Then she makes three more, you know? And so, even though we missed a lot of layups, to me I see it as a positive because that means that we should have beat them by 12, 20, 20 points probably. Okay. Ja, nach dem Spiel wurde Megan gleichzeitig vom Hauptsponsor von Flippo zur erstmaligen Flippo Spielerin des Tages gekürt. Megan, your first owner of the day. Spielerin des Tages, Player of the Game, Flippo Player of the Game. What does it mean to you? Um, it's really cool. I mean, I've never played in Germany before. Um, and I'm, I don't know, it's every honor that you get, it really does mean a lot. And um, the more that you accumulate over your career, you know, to be, I'm the second oldest person on this team right now. And, um, you know, to still be able to say like, hey, like I'm, I'm doing my job and I'm doing what I'm supposed to to help this team win and to be recognized for that as well. I think it's really, really is a, it's quite an honor. What did Co uh, Goran tell you after the game directly? Um, great game. I told him, yep, 10 in a row because he's really excited about this winning streak that we're on. And um, I'm sure that kind of puts a little bit of a bullseye on us, but um, a little bit of pressure I think is really good for us. So that's okay. But so now you are under the four best teams in this league. Next opponents are Hannover with a derby, so called in Germany, and then um, against Nördling. Next two wins if you defeat the champion? I mean, I hope so. Um, we've been watching a lot of stuff on Hannover, and, and uh, you know, the season opening was there as well. So um, we got to see them firsthand play. And so. We're going to do our very best. Uh, tomorrow we have team recovery so everybody gets in, gets in the gym, gets into Athletic Yunga so that we can all stay together, be together, get stronger. <laughs> um, and then we just go back at it. You know, we've got practice again and then we've got practice and then practice and then we're back into the game uh, against Hanover. And then we already beat Nordling one, Nordling, Nordlingen once um, when we were at their place for a tournament, um, but it was a very, very close game. So that's definitely going to be one that we're going to have to really take care of. And uh, my friend Leslie plays for them. She's a great little shooter and really annoying because she's really good at scoring. So we'll have to make sure that we lock her up for sure. Ja, es war heute gleichzeitig auch ein Rekordspiel, muss man sagen, auf Seiten der Zuschauer. Denn es waren mit 470 Zuschauern so viele Zuschauer hier wie seit Comeback in der ersten Damenbasket bei Bundesliga nicht. Megan, so today 470 people record for the last three years since the Flippo Baskets are back 
in the DBBL. What do you want to tell to the crowd today? Uh, wow. I mean, first of all, thank you so much. That means so, so much to have everybody here supporting us. You know, um, we've got a really, really great team and girls who work so hard. And like I said, we've made so much sacrifice over just the last couple of months um, working hard together. So to have people here and the crowd energy was so, so good, you know, and we didn't get we actually weren't beating them until what, like third quarter. Um, and so we appreciate that that energy that you guys give us you know it's really sometimes it, it gets easy to get down on yourself especially like you said missing easy layups you know so having the crowd here to support us to be loud to be cheering for us you know it makes it uh, makes it feel like there's less pressure on us like we just have to do our job and things will naturally work how they're supposed to okay after this great win are there some words do you want to tell directly to your team <laughs> um great job ladies you all did phenomenally Uh, Ivana, you're so beautiful, and I love you so, so much. And uh, hi, Demachko, Sandra. Okay, Megan Mullings, nach dem Postgame-Interview hier, nach dem Sieg gegen den Hernad HC. Many thanks, Megan, for being here for the second time this year. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.